In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to import images and use images as backgrounds or characters in your programs. The first thing you need to do is you need to download an image uh, or, or make an image and have it saved onto your computer. So you can make custom images using apps like Pixlr or Gravit, or you can download images from the internet. I just recommend that you find images that are transparent so there's no backgrounds and definitely labeled for reuse so that you're not infringing upon any copyright. After you have your image downloaded, you can actually upload that image using the Files menu. So over here on the right-hand side, go to Files. Um, if you haven't saved already, you're going to have to save this program. And after it saves, it's going to actually allow you to upload the images as an attribute in your program. So again, you go to Files, Upload Files, and I downloaded a picture that's labeled for use that's an otter. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this otter PNG. Next, we actually have to create a variable to reference the image. So in the global section here, we're going to create a variable that can be named anything. I'm going to call mine otter because, again, I am uploading a picture of an otter for this game here. Now, notice how I didn't set otter equal to anything because this isn't a variable that's going to hold a number value. It's solely the name of the image. Underneath the draw, we need to create a new function, and this function is called preload. And notice that preload is one word, not a capital L. And we'll close preload so we don't forget. And inside function preload, we have to go ahead and set otter, or your variable name, equal to something. So in my case, it's going to be otter equal to load image, capital I. Inside parentheses, a single quotation. And you have to put the name of your image and it has to be spelled exactly correctly inside double single quotation. So single quotation, name of image, single quotation, end parenthesis. And notice right here mine says otter.png so I typed in otter.png. Capitals matter, underscores matter, it has to be exactly the same or else it will not work. Then all you need to do is call an image. So inside function draw we can go ahead and just type image the name of the image, the x and y position, so let's just say uh, width divided by 2, comma height divided by 2, and it's going to place our image in that location. So let's go ahead and run this, and there is my otter. Now, just like rectangles and ellipses, there is image mode, so we want to set image mode equal to center. So that way the x and the y position will be the center of the image rather than the corner, which is the default, just like rectangles. So let's try that again. There we go. Otter image perfectly centered here. Now what if I want to change the size of this? What if this is too large? Well, I could actually open up my image in a photo editing software like Photoshop or Pixlr, or I can just add parameters. So right here on this image command, we have otter, which is the name, the x position, which we have width divided by 2, the y position, which is height divided by 2. And if you add two more parameters, not required, it's then the width and the height. So let's say I want to make the width 100 and the height 50 pixels. It's now going to scale my image to fit that. So now I have a smaller otter. Likewise, if I wanted this to be able to move, I can make more variables. So for example, I could say var otter x equal to, let's just say 600 var otter y equal to say 300 I could make function key pressed and if key code equals equals up arrow I could say otter y equals otter y minus 5. And of course this is something that I've covered in prior videos. So I'm not going to go ahead and do all the keys, but if I just go ahead and if I change the x position to otter x and the y to otter y, this of course would now move up like so. And if I were to set the background in draw, we would see that the otter now moves up across the screen. And if I did left to right, etc. And that's all covered in prior videos. So you can now use images to interact just like we've been using basic shapes for whatever it is in your games.